In this video presentation, we will discuss about the Northern Blotting Technique, a technique to study the gene expression by detecting the specific RNA in the sample. Northern Blotting takes its name from its similarity to the previous blotting technique, the Southern Blotting, named after Edwin Southern. The major difference is that, this technique identifies the specific RNA sequence, rather than DNA. Northern blotting is a technique, used in molecular biology, to identify the specific RNA fragment from a mixture of total cellular RNA molecules. In this technique, a DNA probe, with a specific known sequence is used, to identify the RNA sequence. DNA probes are preferred over RNA probe, because of the stability and efficiency of DNA to RNA hybridization is better than. RNA to RNA hybridization. These probes are oligonucleotides, with a minimum of 25 complementary bases length to the target sequence. This is an overview on northern blotting technique. The first step is RNA extraction, that is isolation of total RNA. The second step is, agarose gel electrophoresis, for separation of the RNA fragments, over the agarose gel containing formaldehyde. Third step. Transfer of RNA fragment, that is blotting, from gel to nylon membrane. Final step. Probe hybridization. DNA probe is used, to identify the RNA sequence. The first step. Extraction, or isolation of RNA, from the target cell. Here, the total RNA is separated from the other cellular contents. Detailed RNA extraction protocol is discussed in previous video presentation. Step 2. The isolated total RNA molecules are ran over the agarose gel electrophoresis, using horizontal electrophorectic apparatus, to separate the RNA fragments, based on their size. Agarose gel containing formaldehyde, which is a denaturing agent for the RNA is used. Generally, the RNA forms a secondary structure, which interferes with the RNA separation over agarose gel. But on addition of this formaldehyde to agarose gel, these formaldehyde breaks the secondary structure of the RNA which in turn facilitates the RNA fragment separation. On gel electrophoresis, the smaller fragments, move fast. And the larger fragments, stays behind. These agarose gels are fragile and delicate to handle. So it is not possible to do the further processing like DNA probe hybridization in this gel matrix. So, step 3. Transfer of separated RNA fragment, from gel, to the nylon membrane is done. It is made possible by capillary action by using the following setup. Place the agarose gel over the sponge, which in turn placed in a buffer tank or tray. Over the gel, place the nylon membrane. Pressure is applied evenly over the gel, by placing a stack of filter paper, and a weight on top of the membrane and gel, to ensure good and even contact between gel and membrane. On overnight incubation, due to capillary action of the buffer against the gravity, the RNA fragments in the gel also moves along, transferred and binds, to the nylon membrane. The last step, the target RNA over the nylon membrane, is identified by using a DNA probe with a specific sequence. This process is called DNA probe hybridization. This DNA probe, are labeled with radioactive isotopes, to visualize the presence of the target RNA, on X-ray film by autoradiography. With this we are coming to the end of Northern Blotting. In next video presentation we will discuss in detail on Western Blotting. Hope the lecture is informative and useful. Thank you.